Detective, hey! Are you okay? I don't know. Did you just faint again? You should tell me. Do you need some rest? Let's get to work. I'm glad you're feeling better. What have we got? It's a classic hit and run, but no ID. I'm so excited to be back on field again. Fed up with chasing lost cats? Cats? No, I'm just bored. Aren't you? No, I'm never bored. Why was she walking when she had a car? You stopped here after the hit. That. A side mirror. And we can be sure it's from the hit and run. It's got blood on it. Maybe it's from a deer or something? Anyway, I'll send it to the lab. Thanks, Susan. No worries. But how did you find it? I guess I was lucky. I think we're done here. I never understand that you could drive like that. Like what? Like a grandma hugging that steering wheel. Oh, fuck off. How was your day? Hello? Hey. Hi, Susan, what? Did I just wake you? Uh, yeah. What, maybe? I don't, what? Well, uh, we have the traffic cam footage at the precinct. Can you come in? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there right, I'll be over there in a second.
scared me. Um, let's just leave this mess here and check the footage at your desk, okay? All right, let me try. She looks scared. Okay, this is the car. I will run the license plate. Okay. Was the emergency? Ah, hello, please help me. I'm, I'm scared. Someone is following me. I'm Diane. Oh Jesus! I have to go wait, now. Wait, wait, I'm wait, wait. Slow down. Slow down. Wait. Hello. Hello. Let's visit Diane's place.
Big fan. Your wife was also quite fond of the mayor, right? Leave her out of this. <laughs> Did you both vote for him after all? Susan, focus on the case, will you? Why were you worried? She got involved in something and acted very strange for like the last two weeks. After she met with the mayor? You mean after they met for the last time? She was crazy about him. They had some weird romance. I told her to stop it. That guy is a douchebag. What do you mean? They just didn't fit together. You said that she was acting strange. What did you mean by that? First she was depressed. Then she became paranoid. She thought she was followed by some shady people. Uh, her phone was bugged. Weird things like that. But that's all I know. Why did you search her place? What? No, no. No, I, I didn't. It was like this when I got here. I swear. But uh, tell me what's going on. Why are you here? Hey, is Diane okay? I'm sorry to break it to you, but Diane was involved in a car accident. A hit and run. She died last night. No way. What? Did this come be for real? Are you sure it was her? Diane? Yes. I'm sorry. No. No. Yes? Uh huh. Great. Okay. Gotcha. They identified the car based on the traffic cam. It was reported stolen. Of course. We need you to come with us to the precinct to fire your statement. Fuck you! Hey, Susan, did you see the email that I just forwarded you? Wait, let me check. Huh, I got it. 
got it. Wait, I know her, and that's a suspect card too. Yeah, uh, who is it? It's Lucy Lewell. We have been dealing with her. She's a prostitute, known as Long Legged Lucy. Do you know where we can find her? Yeah, uh, we have her address somewhere. I will send it to you and see you there. Alright, see you. Stay calm and keep hearing so I can see them. We're here to execute a search warrant. We're looking for Lucy LaBelle. Hey, miss? Who is she? Lucy? Probably. It's too bad. Wounds around the neck. Evidence of struggle. <laughs> this fucking cat! You all good? Yeah, I just hate this cat. I mean, all cats. I hate all cats. Great. Looks like our only lead is dead. Yeah, but at least we got a homicide. Sounds like it's coming from in here.
The camera. Is that what I think it is? Oh yeah, and more. You know Stephen MacArthur? The mayor? Mm -hmm. Father of three, husband of a happy wife? <laughs> yeah, well he looks pretty happy too. Oh yeah, very much so. Oh, I guess they blackmailed the mayor who paid them off. But then Lucy and the Pim disagreed on sharing the money. Probably. But something's off. Still not enough motivation to kill your bread and butter. Everybody has their price. Maybe so. Grab the pimp. Alright. Hey! We have our guy in the interrogation room and we also found a big transfer to his account. He goes by the name Julie the Pimp. All right, well, let's see what he has to say. Okay. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I need a lawyer. We found the camera and we saw the tapes. No, oh, man, and then we got most of our clients. Can be handy if you know what I mean. Blackmailing is a felony. Oh, fuck. Yes. Yes. It was him. This politician killed her. We also saw your bank accounts and you have a little bit too much money for a pimp. <laughs> you know nothing. The money was all we had. Our savings. We wanted to get the fuck out of the country. I even bought the plane tickets. Let me show you. Oh, really? I check my phone. The plane tickets are there. Alright. Mm -hmm. I, I told you. Yeah, he's telling the truth. Of course, I'm telling the truth. I told you, don't you? Now, get me some, please. I, I feel very, very shit. I need a doctor. <laughs> a doctor? Oh. Are you kidding me? You won't get a doctor here. Oh my god. I need my stuff, man. I need my pills. Your pills? You don't get any pills in here, you fucking junkie. Are you kidding Susan, me? I laugh. He's, what? he's going through withdrawal. <laughs> Why are you defending him? I'm not defending him. Yes, you are. Junkies like this destroy your life. Mine. Yes. You of all people must know that. I need to talk. Shut up! Listen. Listen to that. Come on. Just think about your wife. Just think about what would you want. Junk is like this, destroy your life. You know that. Just think about that. Like the way she died. Hey! 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 Open the door! Hey! Detective! Oh my god, are you okay? What happened? He's dead. Okay, you need to get up. You have to go home and, and get some rest. I'll take care of everything. We just tell them that, that it was self-defense and and you, you need to get up. Come on, I, I will I will get you home.
Hey, detective. Susan? Well, I'm very disappointed, but you know we have to take you in. But please, don't struggle. Give me your firearm. Now. Take it easy. Well, you worked really hard for this, and I almost fell for it. What do you mean? The seat was too far forward when I got in. It's impossible a long-legged Lucy could drive like this. Impossible for anybody, actually. Well, except maybe you, Grandma. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, the seat, of course. But still, you don't have any hard evidence. But wait, there's more. You already knew which door was Lucy's before we even got there. The door number. It was broken. Six instead of nine. You didn't even hesitate for a second before you rushed in, because you had already been there. Impressive. You still got it, detective. And you already knew Diane's address before you even ID'd her. I saw her card on your desk when I came over. And you probably stole her apartment keys after you hit her with this car. Wow. Very smart. You know what? I'm actually surprised. Oh, and the last one. Those tiny little details one should never forget. The scratches on your arm. They're from Lucy's cat. They weren't there from the beginning. That cat never did like you. This fucking cat. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You're sick, my friend. Never managed to get over your wife. Leave my wife out of this. <sighs> Don't tell me that again. You're losing it right now. Every single time I bring that fucking dead bitch up. You just, you just can't handle it. You faint, you fall on the ground, and you don't remember anything. Susan, stop it. Stop it. You know it's coming, the next blackout. You remember your wife, detective? Lying on a bed, covered with blood, anything? Hello? No, she can't be. She's alive. Oh, Susan, you know stop it. it. You know it. But you're fucking weak to admit it. She is dead, my friend. Face it! Detective! Hey! <laughs> you see guys? Come on, start the engine! Start the engine! That's so fast. <laughs>